In this video, I'm going to show you how to use CSS variables. We're going to use them for color schemes. Um, so I've got a sample uh, little store thing. Um, and we're going to imagine that I want to start to build this out. Maybe I don't know what my colors are yet, but I want to build out my design and then be able to um, pick a color scheme later on. So um, the way we're going to do this is we're going to use uh, CSS variables. And a CSS variable sort of looks like any other property. Um, oftentimes when we're making project-wide variables, we use the special selector colon root, which just selects the very root of the whole HTML tree. So anything you put on colon root will apply to absolutely everything in your project. Um, you could also use a CSS selector um, more specifically, like main or header, and then those variables are only available to the children of that selector. The way you define a variable in CSS is you use dash dash and then you create the variable name. Um, so I'm going to create, for example, a background um, variable that'll just be my background color. And let's say that I want to start out by making a dark mode. So I'll say background is black and foreground is white. All right. And actually, maybe I don't feel like typing, so I'm just going to make those BG and FG a little easier. All right. Those variables are now available to use anywhere in my CSS values as um, I use the special word var and then a parentheses. So for example, if I wanted my main to have the background color var bg and the color var fg. All right, if I want to make it more general, All right, there we go. Now I've got everything's got this var bg, and the background color um, has uh, colors are fg. You can also put a fallback in here. So if the variable were not defined, let's say that if I type this wrong, it's going to just be white by default. You can, after a comma, put a fallback, which says, if I can't find this one, I do that. And I'll show you how that works. So like if I made the background gray, even though this says black, BG is going to win. But if I typed this wrong or something, it falls back to black. Um, all right. All right. And there now I have a slightly off black and a slightly off white. Um, now this becomes handy in that I could then, for example, Add an A all right maybe I over here well I'll make that all my links perfect all right so that's the basic concept I define a variable here and I can use it anywhere else I want to use it um, I'll show you how I would uh, change a variable. If I made a light mode class, I could say anything with light mode now has um, dash dash fg um, becomes fe and bg becomes that dark. So I'm just going to swap them and Too many apps there. That's right. One, two, three. Oh, I hadn't actually swapped them. All right, so now if I go to main and I add class equals light mode, those are just going to swap. Um, beautiful. I could do the same thing with like a media query. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and do that, now, but that's all possible. All right, so typically what you would want to do is define maybe your main colors. Um, like 
like that. And then you could come in and you could decide where you want to use. So like, let's say I just made an accent color, right? So maybe my, uh, my header gets that. those colors that I just created, right? Um, and then maybe my card is gonna use that accent. So if I go to the um, dot card, border one pixel solid bar accent, um, something like that. And then if I get the button, I may use the accent color for the background there. Um, and then maybe the card header also has a uh, like that. All right, and now my card is looking a little more like a card. Um, that button. All right, looks a little better. All right, there we go. So the last step is to go ahead and actually pick some colors I like. So I'll go, I went to this uh, color scheme generator to generate Schemes till I find one I like. All right, and I'll use this for my accent. I use that for my background. And I'll use that for my header. All right, there we go. It's the basics of using CSS variables.